You can see behind me just the sheer amount of snow that they're dealing with, just blanketing this field and piling up on the sides of roadways here. And this is that heavy snow. It's all packed together like a brick, and that's what's doing damage. We talked to people who are used to this, and even they say they were surprised by this storm. Every day for the last three days has looked like this. It's just get up and go out and shovel, get up and go out and shovel. For Pat Kennerson in Grass Valley. It gets hard to shovel. It's like shoveling uh, concrete. It really is. Snow so heavy, it's done damage. As he pointed out to us. Hey, come on up in here. Showing us around his property. That used to be an umbrella up there, a wooden umbrella. That collapsed. One thing after the other. This was a, a big arbor going all the way across with lattice on it. And the snow got so heavy, it just couldn't take it. Neither could many trees and power lines. Just a matter of time. Neighbor Jody Stover figured. Just sitting there watching it snow and snow and snow, and then the power goes out. Yep. And then your internet goes out. <laughs> Stover is among thousands in Nevada County without power. For him, it's been since Monday. And PGD has been coming by trying to get to it, but there's just too much snow. Even since the snowfall stopped, PG&E confirms access is still an issue. We are able to pick up people each and every day, and each working hour we get more on. But unfortunately, we can't get everyone back on. In some cases, the damage is more severe for a circuit than other circuits, and it just simply requires more work. The clear skies have helped, though, allowing them to keep an eye on things from the air, pinpointing problem spots. Many of our power lines span forested areas, which there are no roads, and we actually have to hike in and try to get access. And to bring in equipment and materials to replace a pole, we can do it, but it just takes more time. Stover is making do in the meantime. Yeah, I have a generator. I've got a little battery backup. He planned ahead for this winter. <laughs> uh, Stocked up on fuel and food. Just got to deal with it. In Grass Valley, Lizay Mitri, KCRA 3 News. He's got the right tools for it.